Welcome to another Arduino Robot Projects video. I've recently been involved in doing a lot of light seeking and light avoiding and stopping in a pool of light versus running away from pools of light sort of experiments along those lines along the lines of basically the Valentino Breitenberg drive system and in just playing around one day I decided to make a photovor and photophobe turret Arduino based turret them using make block parts as well as an Arduino with an Adafruit Motor Shield version 2 as well as two light dependent resistors or photocells. When a beam of light shines on it initially it should turn itself toward the light and then we'll see what happens. That would be the light chasing or light seeking behavior whereas we'll see in the second bit where when a beam of light shines on it it'll turn itself away from the light. That would be the photophobic sort of behavior. Let's see how it works. It should turn itself toward the light. It's chasing the light. It's just a single axis turret. One could, of course, do a dual axis, but you have to start somewhere. So. On to photophobic. I've just commented out the light chasing or photovore code and uncommented the photophobe or light avoiding code. So let's see how it behaves when it's avoiding light. When the beam of light hits one of its photocells, it should turn away from it. Ooh. Doesn't like the light now. In a sense, like Breitenberg said, one could say it's afraid of the light. It has a fear of the light. This is, of course, one of the most basic sorts of light avoidance lights and the previous light seeking behavior. But this is just version one. The next thing will be to add a way to switch modes with the snap of a finger. That'll be version two. As well as to have maybe some LEDs to indicate whether it's going to be afraid of the light or whether it's going to love the light and want to eat it up. But that'll be version 2. For those who are interested in the overall build of this, we'll do some quick zoom in shots of the turret as well as we'll look at the schematic. The code, of course, will be in the first comment on the video. We can first zoom in on the photo cells. There's nothing mysterious there, just two larger light dependent resistors with a 1K resistor as well as a 100K potentiometer. And those are going to two different analog pins on the Arduino that has, has the version 2 of the Adafruit motor shield on it and 6 volt battery pack for the motor. That's a 168 RPM DC gear motor that comes in the make blocks parts and it's connected to, it's got an 18 tooth driving gear connected to an 80 tooth driven gear. So it's around a 5 to 1 gear ratio. And of course it's not as smooth and wondrous as one could make it, but that's just the general layout. And if one wants to see the back side of it, there's the 18 tooth driving gear connected to the DC motor as well as that 80 tooth driven gear, the larger gear. 9 volt battery to power the just the Arduino, the electronics. The 6 volt battery packs, of course, go into the motor shield. 
and there's a backside shot of the potentiometers. I'm using them just as a variable resistor with only two of their legs connected. But let's look at the schematic. The schematic for this project is pretty simple. We have the 5 volt pin of the Arduino feeding the top of the two photocell voltage dividers as well as the ground of the Arduino is connected to the ground rail of the breadboard that these photo photonic voltage dividers are in and then we're sampling at the midpoint with the photocell at the high side we have a 1k resistor behind both photocells that's just to keep them from ever having to source too much current photocells are kind of sensitive to that you could get away with out this resistor as long as these photocells never drop too low in resistance when a beam of light's hitting them but I always put some sort of resistance in series with them and in order just to give them a little bit of protection and then these are adjustable 100k trimmer style potentiometers and what I did in the code which will be in the first comment under the video description is I just turned these until I got maximal variability out of the analog values that are coming in on pins A0 and A1 so that in the dark it would be a low I'd get a low value around 400 and then when I shined a beam of light on it I'd get a value in excess of 800 around 850 860 this will vary depending on the resistance of your particular photo resistors if you decide to build a circuit like this photo resistors are notoriously inconsistent where they can be the exact same size but they're but their resistance values may vary widely from one another for example this one had a reading in the ambient around 2k whereas this one had around in the ambient a reading of around 5k and then when you shine the light this one went down to around 120 ohms and this one went down to around 80 ohms and then when it was total darkness this one would be around 2 mega ohms and this one was 4 mega ohms which is just totally inconsistent across every kind of way of thinking about um, a part but that's just the nature of these candium sulfide cells and you can compensate for it always with a potentiometer and we'll talk more about that in some future videos when I do some Breitenberg drive vehicles then in the spirit of his vehicles at least totally analog without the usage of an Arduino or a microcontroller and then the motor is connected to port 1 on the motor shield I hope this video has been somewhat interesting and perhaps potentially helpful to someone who might also want to build a light seeking or a light avoiding turret. Until next time.